All right, guys, what's up? Welcome, to Irish takes. Welcome back. That was just a spew of words out of my mouth, but it is the big game. The big one. The big game. No one's allowed to say it because the NFL copyrighted, but it's the Super Bowl. <laughs> All right, guys, what's up? Welcome back to Average Shakes. It's the crew, the fellas. We're all here back in the stew. Um, it's Super Bowl week. Super Bowl week. Baby. Super Bowl week. So we got a little bit of recapping to do. Um, and then we're going to talk about the big game. Soupy. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. My favorite Sunday of the year. Love all the appetizers. Can't wait for that. How many wings are you putting down? At least fucking what Super Bowl is it? 58. 59. 59 wings? Yeah. Holy shit. What about you, Trevor? 12. <laughs> Classic. Classic. What? How many beers? Hopefully, like, 58. Three? Three. <laughs> At least. <laughs> Got work tomorrow. Got work the next day. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. Wish Super Bowl Monday was a holiday, yeah. but it is not. It's just the scariest day on the earth. Um... <laughs> But conference championship has come and gone. We didn't get to talking about it, but we can now. The Ravens beat the or no, whoa no no no, no 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 the Chiefs beat the Ravens. Sorry, I don't know how I just mixed that up. Um, as you all know, because the Chiefs are in the big game. Um, this game was weird very as fuck. Weird, very weird because it the Chiefs just totally stopped Lamar. Something we haven't seen in weeks. Shenny called the Ravens frauds all year, and it just panned out because the last game they play of the season, they, they looked, looked like, like total frauds. Seven points? That's ridiculous. Yeah, I mean, they scored 10. 17 to 10. Oh, 10, yeah. Um, but, yeah, Lamar looked terrible. Like, they got off their total game plan. Like, this was not a – regular offensive scheme for the Ravens. Like they asked Lamar to throw the ball deep yep. a lot of times. Um, Roman, if I had to ask you how many rushing yards Lamar Jackson had, what would you say? At least 100. Mm, 54. No touchdowns. Uh, and a fumble and a two picks. Yeah. One Buddy, interception. Buddy stinks. One Buddy fumble. Stinks. Um, I mean, the play that killed them dead was Zay the Flowers Zay Flowers fumble at the, one, at the one centimeter line. line. Literally. On, I, reaching over the goal line, but he gets punched. Ball loose. Ball loose. Oh. Um, and you just hate to see that. Okay. Because Zay Flowers earlier that drive got a personal uh, flag for taunting. He pushed the guy over and was on top of him taunting. A lot of people were like, hey, let the kids play. Yes, to an extent, but once you put your hands on the other guy, he threw him over and then started, like, taunting at him, screaming at him. It gets a little bit too far. Karma's a bitch. Karma's a little bit of a bitch, and not every sport lets you fight like the NHL. Right. If this was one of those sports where, hey, duke it out. Would love that. Would love it, because then we send <laughs> each of those guys to the penalty box for two minutes and – we're back in business. We're back in business a little bit later. I mean, all jokes aside, the Ravens sucked this game. Did. The day Chiefs day. sucked this game offensively. Their defense has been stepping up for them huge in this playoffs. Yep. Um, and they got a big task ahead of them because the NFC. I mean, actually, before I start the NFC, Cheney, do you have anything to add about the frauds? Could have called it. I was right all year long. I was right. All year long, they fucking suck. I knew it was going to happen. It just took them to the second last game of the year. Yeah, I mean, nobody's going to remember the AFC Championship game from 2023. A lot of people remember AFC Championship games, but for other reasons, not losing. Yeah. Not losing. I mean, the Ravens, they were never that good. In Unless my you're Brett Favre, because everyone remembers him losing. The They're Vikings. so good frauds because they faked me all the way up into those games. I mean, when you get away from your total scheme, it made me feel like everyone on the Ravens coaching staff was thinking about the future. Like, and now they all got jobs and are gone. Yeah. yeah and I mean, you are playing Patrick Mahomes. You are. That guy is just 
unreal. Has the worst receiver. I mean, it ever was, they only scored ever. 17 points, though. Like, it wasn't like Patrick Mahomes had Kelsey himself a day. No, Travis Kel- Kelsey scored once. Pacheco scored the other. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, it was a boring game, I but that it was defense. very boring. It was a very defensive game, but you can't sit here and say Patrick Mahomes, Patrick Mahomes, Patrick Mahomes. I don't think he did anything. Like, they didn't score in the second half. Their defense just went lights out. He's one of the best game managers I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> I mean, you could say that in this game, <clears throat> but they didn't do much. Like, they have to look at themselves in the face offensively if they're going to beat this 49ers team. But what's crazy is they can also go out and score, like, they can when they need to. I want to say, I'm not going to say like 40 points. They can get up like to 28 to the 35 range. Yeah. But everything has to click in that in that thing. The Ravens defense played good enough to win that game for sure. Oh, for sure. You hold Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs points? to 17 points. Lamar you, should be able to get 17 points. Yeah, I mean, he scored <clears> one <throat> touchdown the whole game. Lamar missed almost every deep ball, I think. Uh, I think actually that's, every deep. That's how you beat them is they have to play from behind, and what happens, they have to fucking run, and they don't ever play from behind, so that's they why you – They have to throw in that situation, yeah. not run. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. <clears throat> they like to run the ball. and Very true. You, you play from behind, I you think can't they, run. I think they played like they were behind too many points, though, because they were never – Too far behind. Like, out of this game. Yeah. Yeah. But it just felt like they could never wake up offensively. It was four and out, four and out, four and out. Yeah. And then they had a couple good drives that fumble, interception, like that. I'm not going to say that it wasn't a flag during that interception because they straight up pushed likely over. But when you throw into Space. triple coverage, yeah, it is your fault. You can't go, where's the flag? Like you threw into three guys. Yeah. And and that's a that's a flag right there, or that is one of those where I wish the NFL brought back the challenge of flags where I could challenge and be like that's a flag. But was it catchable? Was it uncatchable? I mean, at the point of the interception, he had already been pushed out of totally like off his route. So, is it catchable if that guy doesn't intercept it? Yes, if he's not touched. That's also Harbaugh's fault for not telling the ref, hey, we're going to 80 here. Watch out for – keep your eyes on him. I mean, you tell the sideline <laughs> guy, but that's not going to help the end zone. That's the end zone man's call. That's why it is, but – That's the end zone man's call. I, 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 Kyle Shanahan does that. Hey, check this out right here. Hey, make sure you pay attention a little bit to that guy. He's going to hold him. He's going to run a five-yard out. He's going to hold him. What happens? Five-yard out. Hold I mean – that's, that would be good coaching. Maybe yeah. he did. And they just ignored his face. <laughs> but, I mean, whether or not it's a flag, it was thrown into triple coverage. Yeah, like, and- that is your fault, Lamar, because you never know what the refs. You yeah. absolutely never know, but you never throw into triple coverage. Yeah, it's, I don't know. Unless you also have three receivers right there and it's a jump ball. Yeah. Because he that, that was isn't terrible. ready to – or he wasn't prepared to make plays in that game. He kind of wanted to cruise into a, a win in that game. It looked like. <clears throat> well, it felt like they cruised all year. So, maybe that's the mode he was in where it's like, hey, I already know we're going to do this. Yeah. Like, it's just getting there and finishing the game. And he had not an ounce of will to come back in this game. Like, there there was – heads were down. Yeah, there there was a lot of heads down. It it felt like there was no chance they were coming back. Like every drive, you're like, this game is a drive away. This game is a drive away from being good. Come on. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Like, and you know, props to Mahomes makes it to his fourth Super Bowl. And seven years, six and years. Six years. Yeah. As a starter. Yeah. I mean, Six straight I was talking about championship it. Not, games. Not that I watched the fucking Pro Bowl, but I was like, I've never seen Patrick Mahomes in the fucking Pro Bowl. Feels like, mm, yeah, I really haven't. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen him play. Because if he Bowl. loses that championship game, he doesn't. He didn't. You don't want to play in that fucking game. No, I wouldn't. Like I saw a lot of Lions and Forty Nine, or not Forty Nine ers, but a lot of Lions, and I don't know how many Ravens actually, but I saw Eagles there, and like I just lost a, just a tough there. playoff game. 
There's yeah. no shot I want to go up and fucking celebrate Pro Bowl. Yeah, no. Like, I'm opting out immediately. And they try to make it as fun as possible where you're like, oh, it's just fun, you know? They ruined the Pro Bowl taken away from Hawaii. Yeah. Hawaii was such vibes. I just saw a picture of Andy Reid. In, in Hawaii, yeah, in a Hawaiian in Hawaii. t-shirt, shorts. Loved it. Yeah, Loved fucking it. calves galore. Galore. Dude, <laughs> man's a meaty man. I look different, though. I mean, he's a little older now. That was fucking was like, what, 2006 or something like that? Just look different. I don't know. The shorts maybe threw me off. Don't see the shorts too often. Cargo shorts, white or tan, whatever they were. Tan with the Hawaiian shirt. But they ruined it taking away from Hawaii. It was such a vibe. I would love seeing the players just enjoying Hawaii. Now, where was it? Was it in Vegas? Orlando. Orlando. Camping World Stadium or something like that. Yuck. Yeah. yeah, it wasn't Vegas last year, but I don't think they'll ever do that again because that's when Alvin Kamara got into a fight, got suspended for three. See, years. in that situation, put them on a fucking island in Hawaii. Yeah, <laughs> can't do much. Where they're enjoying their life with their family in yeah. Hawaii. What do you do in Vegas? You gamble and drink for free. <laughs> <laughs> the richer you are, the more free drinks come. Yes. Yes. yes, you're yes. absolutely faded afterwards. <laughs> Personally, I can't relate to that, but I would imagine yes. The more I mean, I, you are, you can only imagine. You can only imagine, but you have gone to those places where you're like the only person in there, and they're just coming up to you. <laughs> yeah. You get pretty drunk, yeah, for free, yeah. tipping them a fucking buck. Yeah, imagine being fucking rich. Well played, a buck. Yeah, I'll play in fucking thousand, hundred, hundred thousand bucks. <laughs> yeah. Um, and Vegas is a lot more accessible than Hawaii, so and it, it there's a lot sure. of people doing crazy so, things. So there's a lot of drunk people. Hawaii, you're putting them on each on their resorts, and they're just coming up to you, mahalo. Yeah, mahalo. Hungry? <laughs> you just got laid. <laughs> yeah. No, it would be I. They probably get more like players to go to Hawaii than Orlando or fucking yeah. Arizona. Pro Bowl was much better when it was after the Super Bowl and in Hawaii. It was after. Oh yeah, it was. Huh? Back in the yeah, what ten years ago? Yeah, after the Super Bowl, so everyone could play. Yeah, it's like a team party. It, well, it's season. the it's actual like bears. It's the actual it's best players bears. in the league. Yeah, because because I mean, for the longest time, the Super Bowl, like you said, we've never seen Patrick Mahomes in a Pro Bowl. The longest time you didn't see Tom Brady, Peyton Manning, like those guys were deep playoff runs. Yeah, and then Pro Bowl and then Super Bowl. Like <clears throat> some people opted out early because they mind yeah. focus whatnot. But yeah, fix a Pro Bowl, please. Yeah, they were in like a. Flag, we're playing flag Pro Bowl game. Like playing flag Pro Bowl. Yeah. The only thing that would be getting us excited for a flag Pro Bowl game is if every time you make the Pro Bowl, it's like an entry to get into the flag team for the Olympics. Because I see a lot of NFL players going, Yeah, sign me up for the flag team, make the Pro Bowl. <laughs> Try out, motherfucker. We got tree outs. <laughs> Rob Gronkowski doesn't want tree outs. Well, guess what, Rob? That's why you're retired. <laughs> Bench. That's gonna be cool too. Oh, I think that. See, Maybe. if they were trying Maybe. to like set it up to where, isn't it, isn't it in America or the USA? The USA <laughs> that year. That I don't know. It's I, coming back. I'm not I'm honestly not the big Olympics guy. I think it's 2028, and that's when it's in LA and New York and other places. I don't know, but I think. And I think the World Cup is 2026, and that's in the United States, too. I saw that. That's and so in, that's a trial that's run. That's in the worst stadium in the NFL. Yeah, and what it's stadium? like a trial run to see if they can sustain. What stadium has had the most injuries in the last five years? MetLife, Giants and Jets Shit, Stadium. Shit. Giants where everyone tears an ACL at. Yeah. We're going to have the actual <laughs> highest paid players on the earth. The most the most expensive ACLs in the world. The most expensive ACLs in the world. The soccer players are fucking like five hundred million dollar players. Like they, these guys get insane contracts. Oh no, that's gonna be terrible. Yeah, we're all having them play MetLife. Yeah. 
You get an ACL. You get an ACL. Yeah, we want to turn into Oprah of ACLs. <laughs> um, well, moving on, the 49ers defeated the Lions yeah. in a uh, absolute fucking trailblazer of a comeback <laughs> from the 49ers. Yeah, it was awesome. This game. Right off rip had the Lions are the fucking Super Bowl champs to Stop everybody. Watching, it almost got so boring. It, oh, I mean, the, I had to work that day and I turned it on. It was halftime. Right when I turned it on, 49ers went absolutely crazy. I was like, what is going on? Fucking the best insane. part of the game. Yes. I mean, this game started off. <clears throat> it was 21-7, right? Or 21-3? It was 24-7 to and a half. But it started off with a Jameson Williams 42-yard run that no one could tackle him. He was just breaking every tackle, stumbled, hand caught him, like the craziest touchdown run. Then 49ers didn't do nothing. A little bit later in the first, David Montgomery ended a long drive for them. The touchdown, 14 nothing. McCaffrey came back in the beginning of the second, scored a touchdown. That was Jameer Gibbs and a Bagley touchdown before – or. Bagley field goal, sorry, before half, 24 to 7. All the momentum in the world, too. Oh, you were fucking feeling it. They actually got the ball, drove down there. Who who waved goodbye? What was his name? Oh, CJ Garner Johnson. CJ goodbye. Karma. What did we say earlier? Karma. That's <clears throat> karma for you. You wave goodbye. You wave goodbye when you've been talking halftime? shit. Yeah, him and Debo quarter. have been talking yeah. shit you wait, but, uh, the whole season. Before halftime, I'm happy you lost. No, I knew that was going to bite him in the ass. Ken Jack tweeted, like, I'm for certain this will bite them in the ass. Yeah. And I literally was like, dude, I was thinking the same. I mean, maybe it's just us football guys. You <laughs> saw that and you're like, uh-oh. That's going to be on Twitter later. <laughs> yeah, you just you just know what's the outcome of this dumb shit. shit yeah. It's crazy how... Just people do that. I don't know. I forgot what I was going to say, to be honest. I had, <laughs> I had a thought, but I forgot about it. It's crazy how jinxes are real. Yes. Yeah, but jinxes are real. It's karma. I'm telling you guys it's karma. But after the halftime, we had 49ers field goal, 49ers Brandon IU touchdown, Christian McCaffrey touchdown, Jake Moody, 49er field goal. Eliza Mitchell, touchdown for the 49ers. It went up to be 34-24 with three minutes left. Didn't they uh, – someone fumbled in that game or no? And it went into the end zone or – I know that happened in the Chiefs' bills, but I thought it happened in that game too. Oh, no, someone did fumble, but it wasn't in the end zone. They scored a touchdown and then Gibbs fumbled. Gibbs fumbled. Gibbs fumbled. Yeah, instant, the, the, instant yeah. fourteen point swing. Yeah. yeah, that's that. That was you're right. Huge. Um, it was a momentum crusher. Like that was that was when it was back and forth for a second. But then, well, you felt like because what happened was it was the Ayuk I- touchdown with five minutes left, and they scored another touchdown with three minutes left. Yeah. So right then he fumbled, but you felt Ayuk could score that touchdown. You're like, all right, they're up by a touchdown. Let's go down there and drive. Like, yeah. as a Lions fan, you're like, it's all right. We still have one touchdown lead. Let's go up there and drive. And it was the very first play Gibbs fumbled the handoff yeah. or fumbled when he was getting it tackled. Was, it was the wrong play, too, because I I saw the replay and Goffs went the other way, and he they, like, ran into each other pretty much. Oh, no. And I was like, holy and yeah, 14-point swing. It went from 24 to 10 to 24-24. In the third quarter. And both the teams that lost, like, we don't know if they'll ever be back there. That's one thing Dan Very Campbell true. said after the, after the game. He said, I told my boys, hey, you might never come back. This is a hard thing to do. Yeah, You know, a lot of players, like Brandon Marshall never made the playoffs. Yeah. Like, Crazy, huh? you think about Brandon Marshall it was a very good wide receiver for a long time with multiple different teams. <laughs> never made yeah. the playoffs. And never made the playoffs I've in his entire a, career. I've heard of a lot of dudes who make the playoffs early, rookies. They're they're super good, and then the, they never go back until like their last year. They sign with the they want to fucking get a ring. They yeah. sign with a good team. Yeah, and they're like they're just washed up old, fucking. But it, it it this is a hard league, and for a guy like Patrick Mahomes, 
Yeah, who does this in his sleep? Times. Who does this in his sleep? He has never not had a season like this. He's yeah. never had a challenging season. He's yeah. never overcame obstacles. <laughs> like this boy is six for six in the championship yeah. and is now on his fourth Super Bowl. Yeah. That's crazy. Who did they lose to in the They Super Bowl? lost well, they in the Super Bowl they lost to the Bucks. Yeah. So yeah. Tom Brady. Yeah. And then in the playoffs, they lost to Joe um burrow and the Bengals. yeah um and then i think they lost to tom brady in the when he was on the patriots N- no no i don't know he put i mean very well that very well could be a very true well stat tom brady beat about everybody in the playoffs yeah i wanted to say he he, he lost, did uh, i don't know if he did because i think they beat them and then that was his revenge in the super bowl with the bucks but yeah, and this is this is by far their worst fucking team that's been in the Super Bowl. Yeah, very true. His worst team they've ever true. been on, I feel like. Offense, at least. Yeah. <laughs> and they fucking go to the Super Bowl, bro. Unreal. And so this game's going to be insane. This game is going to be in fucking insane. Who do you got? Who do I got? Who do you got? Start it off for us. The Super Bowl is here. 49ers taking on the Chiefs. The line is at minus two and a half towards the 49ers. The Lions? The Lions. Oh, I thought you said the Lions. The Lions. Over under 47 and a half. You want me to start it off? Yep. Well, I'm leaning. It's hard to go against. Patrick Mahomes. Very hard. Especially you see a plus right in front of his name. You're like, underdog Patrick Mahomes? He's been underdog like all fucking playoffs, it felt like. And he's won all fucking playoffs. I'm and he's have a, to agree. And he wins all the fucking time. I'm going to have to agree. But 49ers seems hungry. Overtime loss to the Patriots. Yeah. 37-31. And his... Uh, 49ers seem hungry. Hungry. And Story young. is better. Story is a lot better. But... Mahomes wins the ring here. He does on the worst team he's ever been on. And we're talking about dynasty, ladies and gentlemen. We're talking about active Hall of Famer. Active Hall of We're talking about... We thought we would never see another Tom Brady. He's here. Top 10, top 5 quarterback of all time if he called it quits. Oh, no. Right. Oh, no. Like, I, I, uh, Braden tweeted it. Uh, if you don't follow Braden, he's a great follow, actually. Stays up on all sports. But he tweeted it, and he said, if... Mahomes wins a Super Bowl. Is he a top five quarterback? And I went through, and it's hard to say he's better than a Tom Brady. It's hard to say he's right now better than a Peyton Manning. And then the list changes dramatically. Yeah, it's all the single quarterbacks who won one, maybe. You know, I mean, there's names like Johnny Unitas. Yeah. Eli Manning. <laughs> <clears throat> <laughs> Joe Montana and Steve Young. Joe Montana, Steve Young, Dan Marino. You have um, Drew Brees, John Elway, Drew Brees, yeah. Aaron Rodgers. Let's not forget about him. Aaron Rodgers is up there. You know, like we just named off, I think, eight. Yeah. But if he wins his third and he's only 28, yeah. I mean, he is doing big fucking things. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like it's fucking crazy. Top five things, like because that puts him over. Dan Marino didn't win a Super Bowl, but he has crazy stats. Drew Brees only had one. Yeah, and his stats are only going to continue to grow. They continue to get numbers insane. wise. Like if you're, if you're a big actually. numbers person over fucking championships, one, he's getting the championships out of the way. This immediately, this championship will immediately put him in top ten conversation. And I think. Since we can only compare him really to Tom Brady, but Tom Brady won three early or two early, and then didn't he went like ten years without winning one, and then he last his last career he won like four. Yeah, yeah he they talk about how Tom Brady has two separate NFL careers. Yes. Yeah, yes, he does, and he agree. still was ten. It went to ten Super Bowls. Yeah, <laughs> damn. damn, insane, insane. There hasn't been a back to back since Tom Brady. They won in what a one oh two or something like that? Or yeah, probably. They it's been pl- twenty plus years. I'm, and we are back to back. 
we're on the ver- of the verge. Yeah. And it is, they say, the hardest thing to do in football. Like, yeah. n- not many teams have won back to baseball. It's happened a lot, not in recency, but NFL, it's hard back to back. NFL, it's hard because what do they say? Any given, given Sunday. Sunday. And your team changes year to year. There's so many one year deals that you have. Yeah. So guys will never talk to you. Usually, the, the, the teams that win like have that. like, all of a sudden, there's like 20 guys going to free agency. Kaboom, yeah. yeah. Like, holy shit, that was our year. Yep. Like, we really did it. Coaches go everywhere. Players go everywhere. Yeah. It's for real. The 49ers have a little, I don't know. 49ers have. They have grit to them. They have the team, though. If you look at that roster, you could point out 15 fucking stars. Yes. Yeah, that's how I'm kind of looking at it. And That's how you year, look at this. Last year, it was the same thing, though. The Eagles had all the studs. The Eagles had the best offensive linemen. They had the best rushing yards per attempt, rushing yards per game. Yeah. They were fucking 13-3, and three, whatever. But the Chiefs still looked like the Chiefs. This year, the Chiefs has looked totally different. Yeah. Like, it's unreal how good their defense is right now. Yeah. It's it unreal how bad their offense is. Because yeah. we've known the Chiefs as – like when I think of the Chiefs, I think of the Chiefs versus the Rams game yeah. when it was like 54 53. Yeah. yeah. Like that's what I think when I think of the Chiefs. Or this like Chiefs, the. I don't think they scored over 30. This Chiefs is very hard to watch. Like they yeah. drop passes. Mahomes runs for his life, then flings it up, and they make some acrobatic catches, but that doesn't last forever. But it does last a season. Yeah. And I mean, last year's game was great. It was like 34 31, right? Something like that. Yep. You couldn't ask for a better like all the way down to the watching end. watching experience. This year's gonna be completely different, which is fucking crazy. I think there's one team that's far better than the other on this one. And yes, the but world the- is on the wrong side. Yes, yeah. I yes. mean, I think it the saying like Chiefs plus money it has became a thing that everyone's like, I'm stupid for not betting the Chiefs. Like, they've been plus money this whole playoffs. Yeah. And then I think this is finally the time where they're like, they're plus money for a reason. Mm, yeah. Like, well, that's they, where the I luck think, runs out, I think, here. That's how I think Vegas wants you to see it is Chiefs plus money. They fucking have been plus money. They've just been winning. That's an insane. Why are they plus money? Blah, blah, blah. And then the Why 49ers. Why is 80% of the public on the Chiefs? And then the 49ers come in and they're like, Walk into your trap, take over your trap. This is my fucking house. And I, the 49ers have to want it more. This team beat them in the biggest stage, and they haven't been there in years. It wasn't, and it wasn't that is, game shitty, too, or no? Oh, that, that game was, was pretty good. The the 49ers had the league in the Chiefs. Oh, yeah, that was the comeback. 49ers Patriots game. That was shitty, right? Oh, no, it was the 49ers Patriots Rams. Sorry. Patriots Rams. 13, was the worst, yeah. yeah, the worst Super Bowl of time. Rams, yeah, worst time. time. You watched that adjustment, though. Yeah, I think that game. I think this game might be around that score too. Thirteen three. You think so? There's a possibility. There's a possibility that the uh, the Chiefs can't score. There's a possibility the Four Niners can't score either. I mean, if the Chiefs defense shows up like it did last week, there is a possibility because they just blew the Ram or blew Lamar off the field. Rams have less. I mean, the Rams. Ravens have less weapons than the Forty Niners do, though. The Ravens are also not as good offensively. Right, scheming, you shut down Lamar, you shut down that offense. That defense, that, that, that defense is really good. Yeah, like that Ravens defense was, I thought the number one defense in the playoffs. Like they were showing up. 49ers defense pretty good. Forty ers defense is good, but they give up a lot more. They points gave up a lot yeah. more, you more points than yeah. I expect for the 49ers to do. Like, let's get nothing wrong. The 49ers have had to have two large comebacks to make it here. Right. They've had two fourth quarter comebacks of all time. That sounds like the Chiefs from uh, three years ago. Yeah, like I feel like the NFL just rewrote this script, just flipped the teams. I think this yeah. is going to be a great game. <clears throat> I definitely Could. think it's going to be a good game because the 49ers give it more points than you think. The Chiefs' offense is, I want to say, better than they're playing. Yes. Yeah, and I had a tweet. On September 10th, 2023, week one NFL season that said the 49ers are going to win the Super Bowl. And now we're in the Super Bowl and the 49ers are here. They have a chance. And the 49ers are going to win the Super Bowl. Ooh. Give me minus one and a half. Give you Niners minus one and a half. It was one and a half when I just checked. Oh, was it? 
Give me the name me the one and a half. Chiefs money plus money. No big deal. No big deal. This is a Brock Purdy's NBD. league. This is Brock Purdy's league. We're we're living in it. Um I'm right there with you. Give me the 49ers no, minus. No, no. I absolutely love the Niners here. Sweeping. There there is a reason why the public is so far wrong. And Vegas has everybody by the balls because the Chiefs had they successfully yeah. snaked their way into the Super Bowl because they are not good enough to be here. They, they know, have not been good enough all year. No. This 49ers team has been. There were spots where they were unstoppable. And, and they and they're they're hungry because of the last time they played them. You don't want to lose to a team twice in the biggest stage of your life. Never, never realize that you can get back curse. to it. We're putting the adversary's curse on this team because I'm going 49ers as well. Curses aren't real. Curses aren't real. I absolutely love um this is going to be the saddest podcast all time next week. Next we week if we just fucking – But <clears throat> I absolutely love 49ers in the spot. I'm not really big on the public numbers, but this just happens to just throw me off how – Super Bowls are usually pretty 50-50. Like, if you would ask me last year, I bet you it was a coin toss between the two. Eagles, right. geez, the, last year, the Eagles just had so much talk about them going into they that game. so much hype. And it's like – the Chiefs are the Chiefs still, and clearly they're still the fucking Chiefs because they're here. But yeah, clearly, I just think Brock Purdy to win his first Super Bowl as being Mr. Irrelevant against the what's now becoming the fucking baby goat of the NFL would be an outstanding way. Like, he doesn't have to win it ever again. He has yeah. that for the rest of his life. Is this new? Because if Manning? if chi- Oh, okay. Oh, whoa, whoa. If the Chiefs win, you're like, oh, you beat the fucking 49ers. Whoop de doo. Like you're you're supposed to win. You've been here so many times. You have the experience, blah, blah, blah. But don't count down the underdogs. Don't count down the underdogs. Yeah. Um, Hypothetically speaking, because clearly they're not underdogs. They're not underdogs. Hypothetically, everyone in a, a 49ers t shirt, jersey, hat. But I do is hate them the underdogs. I do yeah. hate 49ers fans too. Like I, I hate the that if they win the Super Bowl, they're just gonna be loud all fucking off season. You hate the city? And, and they tie the Steelers for most franchise wins as a for Super Bowls. So but <laughs> the 40, I just, he's slowly talking himself out of this pick. No, I when the Chiefs won that game, I was all over the Chiefs are gonna win the Super Bowl, the Chiefs are gonna win the Super Bowl, but I just have to look and look clearly at the teams that are playing. Yeah, I'm right there with you. I mean, can the Chiefs win in a shootout? No. Can the 49ers win a shootout? Yes. Are you going over under? I'm going over. That's what I was thinking too. I'll I'm going over. I'll take the under. I'll go over. I'm going over because I think the 49ers can win in a shootout. Me too. 47 is just uh, 48 points is a lot of points to me. Yeah. Uh, I love, love, love Brock Purdy's story. And I think this is a fucking end of a fantastic movie. There, yeah, and there would be – there would be – there's both ways you can look at it. You can look at it from the Chiefs and Patrick Mahomes' side. You can look at it from Brock Purdy and the 49ers. Yeah. If you're looking at 49ers, best movie you've ever fucking seen. Yeah, because, I mean, you have a kid you drafted last in the draft. Yeah. Comes out after two injuries. You know, you yes, lose Trey Lance to a what was it, a broken forearm? Something. And then Jimmy G had one of his 12 injuries that he always has. And yes, then Purdy sir. had to come in. Purdy led them to the championship game, tears his Tommy John UCL middle of the game, has surgery, all the offseason speculation. Is he it is Brock Purdy even fucking Good, he's a game manager, like all whatsoever. Comes back healthy. They looked terrific for a couple stretches of the season. Like, yeah, we jinxed them after calling them the best team on the earth. We did. They lost three in a row. Sorry <laughs> about that one. Um, but then they come out and have a great rest of their year. Playoffs, they 
have two phenomenal comebacks led by Brock Purdy, Mr. Irrelevant. Like, this is such a good story. Yeah. And, and everyone's saying see... how this kid's 10th best player on our team. Sometimes that's the perfect situation to be yeah. in. Yeah. You have all the superstars around you, and all you have to do is find the open motherfucker. Yep. And I can see the 49ers having a little bit of nerves early on, and the Chiefs, I've been here, I've done that. We've done that as a team. So they can get down, but they've also shown they can fucking come back. Fourth yeah. quarter comebackers. Second half, everything. Yeah, They've shown it takes fucking 60 minutes of fucking hard-nosed fucking football to beat us. To beat us. I and I love that. I agree. I'm gonna have to. Um, but how do the Chiefs win this game? They play great defense like they played last week. It's low scoring and force Brock Purdy to throw because yeah. he does make mistakes. Yeah, you just gotta capitalize. Yep. That's how the Chiefs win this game. Defense matters for force Purdy into mistakes because we've seen it. He's had games where he threw what four interceptions. Yeah, falls apart. You know he he's had bad games so. That's how the Chiefs win this game. That was my fantasy week to win the fucking. <laughs> all right. Um, so it looks like we're all set. We have our side and our totals. A um, couple more little quick hitters. Um, MVPs, MVPs. Who is your Super Bowl 58 MVP? Brock Purdy, if he wins. Brock Purdy is yours, Roman. We're writing it down. Roman. Do I go offensive lineman here? <laughs> I mean, offensive lineman was plus 10,000. Say Trent. Give me CMC. Give me CMC. And it's never the guys you think of either. It's, it's never going to be the guys you think of. I mean, I wanted to be Percy Harvin so bad when the Seahawks won and they gave it to Malcolm fucking Butler. Butler. Was no, no, year? not Malcolm Butler. What was it last the year? Bobby Wagner, I thought. No, it was their outside linebacker. Oh, yeah, they're really weird. No one's ever heard of him. Last year. Just kidding. Against the Seahawks. Damn it. Last year it was, um, I think it was Mahomes. Mahomes. And then two years ago in the Bengals, Rams, it was Cooper Cup. And three years ago in the Bucks and Chiefs, it was Gronk. No, not Gronk. Oh, I think it was Levante David, maybe. I don't know. You want me to pull up a list instead of you guessing? No, I know. It's never – It's might have been Tom Brady, but – I was thinking Tom Brady. I don't know if it was because he didn't really play that good that game. But, yeah, the Broncos won year. The Von Miller won. Von Miller won. I remember that. We won. But yeah, he had, he had the strip yeah. sack. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, you were right. Patrick Mahomes, Cooper Cup, Tom Brady was Tampa. Yeah. Um, yeah. Patrick Mahomes again before that. Edelman, Foles, Brady, Edelman. Von Miller, and it was Malcolm Smith. Yeah. That's who I was thinking. Did I say Malcolm? And you said you finished it with Butler. Yeah. He should have won one. <laughs> he should have. Honestly, <laughs> he had the interception. <laughs> I don't know. Nick Foles deserving. Um, who you got? MVP. Uh, I would. I want to take Debo Samuel. Really? But I think I'm gonna go Nick Bosa. Nick Bosa? You think he has six sacks? Wow. What do you think he needs to win more? Uh, two sacks and a strip sack and a forced fumble recovery or something. I don't he's know. He's a fucking touchdown. He needs a big play, yeah. Yeah, he's sack a, for a touchdown. yeah, Nick Bosa's having a fucking game. All right. All right, uh, next prop bet. We got coin flip. Headers or tails? Tails. Heads. Never fails. Damn. Heads is the best. Damn, so Roman is tails. Might be, might be prop of the year for me. Shenny is heads. And Bob is 50-50. Lands right in the middle. <laughs> Plus ten million. <laughs> <laughs> I would bet it. Damn. Just saying, it's never happened. Um, what was it last year? It, Tails never fails. Heads. heads. Don't know. Um, over under national anthem from Reba McIntyre is a minute and twenty seven and a half seconds. Okay, so Reba holds her notes. 
but she's also 137 years old yes years young this is fucking dummy <laughs> I never talk about a woman like that <laughs> Um, I'm saying Not over. Her. She <laughs> she holds those notes. She does. I'm gonna have to agree with you there. She That's holds fine. them. No. Her I'm lung her lung capacity ain't good enough anymore. Give yeah, me the under. I'm going under. Give me a minute tops. No, it's gonna be literally 127 exactly. Think so? If yeah. there's a point five there, they fucking be... <laughs> hold the plug. <laughs> Yeah, we turn the switch off. Yeah. Um, all right, colored Gatorade bath. Um, just because I saw it today, plus twelve hundred water, clear slash water. Um, give me the lemon lime green. Give me purple then. Give me purple. Purple. Purple nurple. <laughs> <laughs> Bad bet. <laughs> um, all right, last prop, best prop. Will Travis Kelsey propose? If they win, yes. If they lose, if they win, yes. No. If they lose, no. He ain't no. marrying her. He ain't getting married. Really? Not today. Not tomorrow. Really? Not Sunday. Really? Shenny, no. Roman, you have to. You have to choose yes or no. Yes. All right. Yes, Roman. <laughs> if they win, yes. <laughs> you fucking queer. <laughs> Bob is saying no shot. They lose, and she says no. And she's going back to Tokyo right after the game. <laughs> See you later, Travis. Great season it's been. Uh, I can't wait. Roman's going to be. W- they win. <gasps> they win. <laughs> they win. And what if she says no then, too? That would be hilarious. Uh, that would be crazy for her to say no on national television. Be top, <laughs> top five number one things to have. Top that would probably be instead number one. Of them, thing. Instead I, of them. On you national know what? Television. I'll sacrifice a chief win for her to say no on national television. I agree. Instead of them being like, we're going to Disney World, or Travis like, will you marry me? No. <laughs> Taylor, will you marry me? No. <laughs> she comes out with a song. And, she, and, they, uh, and it's called We Are Never Ever Getting Back Together. <laughs> I think you that will never ever came. win this other Super I think that already came. <laughs> uh, part two, part two, part two. Part two. Super Forgot Bowl is here. Super Bowl is here. Big game. How many, how many wings are you going to eat? Yeah. I need to see those numbers. <laughs> I'm on the plus. So I'm, what you know you? what? You never answered your own question. No, I don't answer my own questions. Yeah, here. This is my podcast. 20. I ask you guys. Over under 20. 20. Under 20. Under. Under? That's, There's a way, no that's, way. that's, that's an so insane many. line. I'm, I'm going are, eight are, and they, half. are they bone in, boneless? Bone in. Yeah, under. I'm going eight and a half. I'm for, taking the plate with me. Boneless? <laughs> over hammer it. Bone over 20. Over 20. Over. Uh, boneless? <laughs> over hammer. Bone in, eight and a half, Bob. Bone in, at least 20 for me. Bone in, I'll probably over eight. And boneless, low key, only like ten. You would think boneless under ten, low key. Oh, dude, not the biggest fan. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right, so then, um, baseball's right on the corner, ladies and gentlemen. We'll see you around. Going to the World Series. Padres Nothing wrong with being average. We're going to the World Series. Years.